Bastard hello. Bastard hello. Ooh, it's nice out today. That's it. I gotta go meet my bill at the deli. That's it. Bastard hello. Hello right now. How are you doing? Why are you bringing this? Here? No fist to bump? Oh, fist bump. Piece and shit. Oh. This a cheesy steak is the best cheesy steak. Alright? This is not cheesy steak. No, but it's gourd. It's gourd? It's very gourd. Oh my god, this accent. You are gonna click off the video. Go. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. I see at the light this bitch. How you say? Yeah, that's why I don't go that way. I go the other You way. saw? No. I, I took her right. She I wasn't fucking She okay. wasn't fucking turning. The lights blinking yellow. Yeah. I beep. The guy behind me beeps. I thought it was you. Yeah, right. I thought it was you beeping oh, god, too, so I laughed. I'm already here, but still waiting. <laughs> I laughed. And then the lady lady just looks back. Still is not going. The other guy beeps. I beep. She goes. That's it. Smart Bay. Let Invest in this. Oh, I give you cash. Let me see. Be a good friend. Okay, no problem. Yeah, bro. Lift your nozzle, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get my gas bumping first. I fill up tank. Yes. Take it, take it, take How it, you take use it. This, bro. Come give me the oil, bro. Okay. Give me the gas, bro. You can rob me, man. <laughs> Piece of shit. I robbed the guy two cents. Two cents. 37.07, I have full, full tank. I take two cents here, I take two cents here. That's gonna be one dollar. That's a lot of money. That's an Arizona you steal from me. Even though I just buy you Arizona. It's okay, I buy you a lot of Arizona in your lifetime. <laughs> I don't know, I just, Nabil reminded me. Well, we're at the shop now, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Yes. What the hell is wrong with people today, dude? They're worse than me too. How many bro. times? <laughs> legit, legit. <laughs> That's a fact, dude. Nabil is sketchy, but these people, but, like, yo, this one lady pulled part. out in front of me, almost freaking clipped me. I know how to drive, but I do some sketchy shit sometimes. He knows how to commute. No, I know how to drive. But there are some people today, dude, that are just, oh. Why do you pull out in two lanes and then go in front of him and we're like side by side? We both had a jam on our brakes. Stupid ass bitch. It was a stressful That's drive. I've laid on my horn a lot. Like legit just beep. Literally dude brake checking me the whole way doing like 20 and fucking 45. Pissed me off man. The way she goes. The way she goes. We're gonna chill and I go, I go smoke some hookah. Also I gotta go return this. Uh, the other day I bought this IAC valve. And it was the wrong damn IAC valve. Because the plunger wasn't long enough. That's why my shit was idling at fucking 3000 RPM. Well, now I can't return it. Yeah, you can. They will never know. Eh, eh, eh. All right, I forgot to take the camera with me, which was probably a mistake because we were we were making beeps at everybody. We were pranking them because we beep if their window was down. Okay. I'm naming this video not working on cars. Yes. Yes. This is chill day. Um... That was $130 to rent, not that it matters because I get it back. I still think that's crazy because I bet you I could find that same part, crank pulley tool, for probably like 60 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. But um, reason I rented this tool, you see, is uh, last night Mike did another um, like remote thing, he just wanted to see he, he had a hypothesis he wanted to test out. Uh, also, I returned the IAC sensor that I was talking about. Got my 72 beans back. Here, here look at that. Boom. Yeah. Cash flow, cash man. Yeah. What can I buy with $72? Jack shit. One and a half gas tanks. That's what you can buy with $72. But, anyways, he threw 40 or. Er, he, he threw an extra 20 degrees advanced timing at my car while it was idling and it ran no different so something wrong yeah so basically he's like yeah the timing has to be off a tooth or something like that on uh, the cam gear or something hey, I found the problem this one here Chevy this one here in this end, it's not 
So you're saying it's not Gordon? No Gordon. No Gordon. Uh, I have to take off this whole front thing, the whole front support. Uh, I have to take off the water pump and the and the the crank pulley. Drain the oil and then take off the front cover because if I don't drain the oil, it'll come out, you know. So yeah, I gotta do all that, and then. When I take off the front cover, <clears throat> I'm gonna watch a couple videos on how to time an LS engine, just, well, specifically a 5.3, in case there's any discrepancies, differences, anything like that, I wanna know exactly how to time it. So when I put it back together, I know damn well that it's at top dead center and timed and perfect. So that way, if we try to tune it and it acts weird, I'll just, I'll, I'll sell it to Nabil for 40 bucks. What, the car? Yeah. I'll bet, yo. I'll never get it running. So there you guys go, that was a little demonstration of how easy it is to like dismantle the front clip of this car. Like if this engine blew up, I would not, I would not be hurt. It's not going to, to you friggin' dickheads out there, but if this engine blew up, I can buy one and swap it in a fucking a day. This shit is cake to work on. What you think? How, how fast do you ever see a car come apart like that? Not once. It's good. It's good? It's good. That's the best! So what I did was put a socket at the end of it. <clears throat> we'll see if it will work here. This has happened like three, four times. It is pulling it off, I'll have you know though. Okay, it is pulling it off. Aha! Okay, it's off. That's how you do it. That's how you remove your damn crank pulley. You just need a socket, apparently. All right, well, fairly simple. I thought it was gonna be worse than that, but yeah. Seems, uh, seems good to me. Now, all I gotta do, for anyone who isn't familiar with this, basically, just drain the oil, which is the bolts right there. Obviously not stock oil pan. If you have a stock oil pan, it's like underneath it or something, but drain the oil right here. I just didn't want to do that today because me and Nabil are about to go to uh, Don's shop because I haven't seen Don in a while, so I'm gonna go to Don's shop, chill, smoke hookah, blah, blah, you know. You got you guys will see. I'll bring I'll bring you guys along for a little bit. But anyways, what I have to do tomorrow is drain the oil, take off this front cover, and if anyone's wondering what this is, this is like the timing little makeshift timing mark Ronnie made uh, to kind of line up TDC. But gotta take off this. <clears throat> gotta take off this. I might have to take off the oil pump. I'm not too sure. Either way, the oil pump's just a bunch of 10 mils. It's super easy. And then inside there is the crank pulley or the crank gear and the cam gear so I just have to line that up and make sure that that's you know at the correct timing and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it you beat me to it <laughs> yeah about to grab this bike real quick off of you word you got it all right, bet. Clickbait. <laughs> He's out here beating me to the punch. Damn, boy, you beat me to the punch. Yes, sir. It's looking good, though. You guys gonna come help me with mine? Hey, RJ. Hey, Dave. Not for hire. Not for hire. I got him, Jimmy. Slap him. Slap him. Do it. Do it. Slap him. Do it. Do it for the bumpers. Just jump from there. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Give me this shit. Get the fuck. Yeah, I'll... Oh, no. <laughs> Kevin, come here. Give me that fucking... Where is it? Come on, I can't reach. 
Oh! I snapped the man. <laughs> Alright, I have been assaulted. I have been assaulted by Jimmy Oaks. <laughs> I want my, my ear autograph. Alright? Beautiful, I got you. Yes. Yes. So, um... Yeah, you guys can stop talking shit to Jimmy, alright? You bitches. <laughs> hey, turn around, I see this dude. Just being a sausage on the ground. That Justin bought from Pedro lasted him years. Yeah, but that, that wasn't a blaster. That wasn't a blaster. Was that was a warrior, warrior yeah. Oh, our, our no, this is this is a blaster. This is next giveaway. Wait, which one's better? A warrior, dude. <laughs> this is like the smallest quad. These are like you can get these for like three hundred bucks. We're this one's. To, we were trying to tell Travis to buy. Them. I don't even know what that one is. So I'm out. I'm out here asking Jimmy for advice. Yo, Jimmy, how do I? get my engine to work everyone tells me to ask you how to get because you have an ls also well you learn to, you, to stop buying cheap parts because you keep replacing them huh? yeah i bought I, there's no more cheap parts the only cheap part on my car right now is the fuel pressure regulator yeah. and i'm it's, getting a new one next month when you buy like a half project from someone because you you want to assume that everything they get you got from them is straight but yeah like you know check yeah. the timing you're gonna yeah i'm gonna but check the timing works Check the timing. Yeah, exactly. Time, but I know for you, like, in your aspect, dude, I would never want to assume with the timing. Oh, this was got professionally built. Like, yeah, this, exactly. This loaded every time, like right. And everyone, all everyone does is, oh, dude, it's so easy. Blah blah. blah. Like, like Mega Squirt, all this stuff. Oh, ask Jimmy. I was like, Jimmy doesn't have Mega Squirt. Like, what is he gonna tell me? Go. I'm gonna go get another. I'll go. I'll, I'm gonna go buy a stock ECU and. Uh, and whatever else and HP. and then and then how yeah hp tuner and have to go pay someone a bunch of money to tune it oh shit oh shit well, on that angle like should probably have two people the same height if you want me to get behind that jimmy <laughs> yeah here let me let me let me get down there hold on i put down that's it. That's it. I gotta clean up the hookah. I gotta go home. Gotta edit and upload. Edit and upload. Edit and upload every night. Well, yeah. That's it for this video. Just kind of been chilling with Jimmy and them. Bullshitting. Doing whatever. Being jealous of the loft. All that good stuff. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace out. See you next time.